Hi, it's Miss Patty from Wakanda Area Library. Thank you for joining me for another week of Take and Make Crafts. I have always wanted to make this craft for Halloween. It's Witch in a Cauldron. I see this as a decoration all the time, so I thought it was super cute. It's very easy to pull together. It's just a coloring cut, so use what you have at home. This is your cauldron. Obviously black is a given color, so get out that black crayon and color this all in. Optional if you wanna keep the handles or not. On this sample, I cut the handles off. So you color and cut this one, whatever color you like. And then you have the witch bottoms, which are the legs and the shoes, which we are gonna put this way. So there is no body attached, it's just the legs, cause it looks like Ah, uh, we're cooking her for lunch. We're getting rid of that witch. So I colored it all in, cut it out. That takes the longest. I left her feet hanging right off the page. So let's stop and think about it. What colors do you want to use? Anything is optional. So if you don't like the tights, maybe you just want to do her legs one color and just color over with a dark color and cover the stripes all together. Let me show you what I did with this other option. So I colored this one with all different colors. I used markers. I did a brim on the cauldron. So it looks like she's cooking in some soup. I colored in the handles. I did all different colors on the tights. And I was thinking, why does the witch need to have a skirt? What if we took this and we're gonna turn it into shorts. Who says that the witch has to be a girl, right? It could be a boy too. So you can color this, you can cut these into shorts, you can cut this all off completely and it could just be legs, right? So just do whatever color legs. Does this witch have green legs, yellow legs? Who knows? We're gonna put this here. I aim to get the shoes right off. So let's, after you're done coloring and cutting it all out, figure out where you wanna put that cauldron. And then we're gonna put these right underneath there. So let's glue the back of our cauldron. Get some help with the cutting if you need it. Press that down on the bottom. So I go very close to the bottom of the page. So I'm gonna press all the way down to about the handles there. And now let's flip over our legs. And I'm gonna go to about the ankles. Since again, I'm gonna leave the shoes hanging off the page. She has some very long legs. So let's flip that over slide that in there. Let's leave some of those shorts exposed, right? Ooh, help me, I've fallen and I can't get up. I'm in a vat of soup. Or maybe it's frog legs in there. Some witch's potion. Okay, maybe we can make some bubbles. That's a good idea coming out of the pot, right? Maybe it's some potion in there and we can make some bubbles. Another idea that I thought would be fun is what if we wrote boo on the cauldron? If you had like a, a white marker, a white paint marker and you can write on there or maybe one of your parents or grandparents have extra Halloween decorations that they use for pumpkins. Maybe some stickers you could put on the page. One other idea I thought of all together was Maybe you just want to have the cauldron and the legs separate and you don't want to use the background paper. You could use the background paper for another fun project and you can just leave this by itself. It would be great on the front door or added with your decorations somewhere. So that's just another fun idea. There's always extras you can add to my projects. I just try to give ideas and lots of extra options. So stop by this week. We've had tons of Halloween fun this month and it's of course gonna last until 
October 31st. That's the deadline for picking up your pet habitat. Uh, don't forget for the young ones, we have our big Halloween party here. We have Firefly Theater that you can register for. Come in costume and then you get to parade down the steps and get a goodie bag. So I hope to see you here at the library. Bye for now.